Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. And between the episode I had to do some grinding and that was fairly difficult to get done actually because Stitch surprised me. Stitch is real good. I mean his attack stat, her attack stat because everything on my team apparently is female, is actually lower than Tien's. The level is also three levels lower, so that makes sense. And Stitch's moves are pretty good with Vital Throw, and well, Arm Thrust is okay, and Fake Out actually comes in very handy as well. And then Tien didn't really change whatsoever because I didn't want to over level Tien. Uh, Razul, actually, <laughs> I was grinding, and I was just mashing the A button, and I, two or three encounters later, noticed that I ran into, I think, a Loud Red. And Lick didn't have any effects, and I didn't even notice that I'd gotten Lick. So that means that I got rid of Bite. Which I really didn't want to do. Then again, uh, Bite is a special move anyway, and I feel like your physical attack is going to be much higher than your special. Yes! <laughs> so you wouldn't have stayed with that for long anyway. Simba gained a level because of switch training, nothing much I can do about that, not on change there. And Sephiroth, um... I've been... Maybe unnecessarily harsh on Sephiroth, because while his stats are... Actually, Sephiroth is the first male Pokémon we have, wow. While his stats are laughable for level 25, the ability Runaway could be potentially useful, and he actually got Rollout, which could be useful. So now we have the choice of going into Lavender Tower or going, um, going other places. I'm not going to go into Lavender Tower yet, for the simple reason that I can't catch anything in there yet. So I'm going to wait with the rival battle there until I can actually do the story portion of it. I think you're supposed to, in game design sense, fight the Steelix, which is going to be very easy because Stitch is going to annihilate him. As you can see, level 25 is not that overleveled. It might actually be a little bit underleveled if we're going into the Team Rocket base this episode. I didn't want to use Arm Thrust, I wanted to use Fire Throw, but I'm just not paying any attention because I'm stupid. Um, I think you're supposed to go in there and then find out that you can't do anything, so your rival is probably around the level you should be fighting before going uh, to the fourth gym and the rocket hideout and everything like that. But I'm not quite sure about that and I didn't bother looking it up. So I'm not taking any risks and I'm very aware that if my rival is actually on a level where I can beat him, it's a good source of experience. But if he is on a level where I can't beat him, I'm screwed. Also a Weedle, that's laughable. So let's sound in Simba, because that's what we do. <laughs> I just want a tight match. It's not because it's a Weedle and Simba's literally a legendary Pokemon and I just want to destroy this Weedle with Amber, which is not going to be that great because it's special. But still, it's a Weedle, it's an anti, it's super effective. It's kind of... It just feels satisfying. Just feels satisfying. So that's the state of my game at the moment. I can catch a Pokemon here. I totally forgot about that. Um, let's see who can learn Cut. Also, didn't think about teaching. Uh, nobody can learn Aerial Ace. Okay. Who can learn Cut? Oh no. Well, Simba doesn't get any good moves anyway. So this might be a little bit sacrilegious. Very aware. But who's gonna use Leer anyway? It's gonna be quite a while before Anti actually gets any moves that are gonna be useful. And if Simba's still alive at that point in time, I'll get rid of Cut because at that point I can. But for now, it's more important that we catch our new team member than having Leer on a Anti. How many Pokeballs do I have? I hope I still have. I think I still have 20 left. Relicanth! That's not a great Pokemon, but potentially interesting. I really wish I would have been able to catch this before grinding up, though, because Relicanth is going to be dead weight at this point, pretty much, for the rest of this episode. I'm going to use Lick. Maybe having Lick is not a bad idea, because it can inflict paralysis. 
and intimidate. I always have to remind myself for some reason. When I was a kid, I always assumed that um, buffs and debuffs to your stats also increased or decreased the catching uh, rate. It doesn't, but I still, intuitively, I still do believe that somewhere. While well, rationally, I very much am aware that that's not a. Oh, that does nothing. I'm just gonna lick you. That sounds weird. Until you're paralyzed. That sounds even weirder. <laughs> and then I'm gonna switch the hell out of you. I do wanna catch you though, because it is a new water type, and it's also a rock type. It's really good for coverage. It's not that good for anything else, I don't think. But it's really good for coverage. So I really do want this. What is the percentage chance for lick to, para to paralysis to paralyze? Isn't it supposed to be 30? Thank you. I'm not going to look it up. But I feel like it's 10%, not 30. It might actually be. I have no idea. But it better be 30. Because otherwise lick is a very bad move. Which, admittedly, it is. I'm not going to send this Simba. I'm not going to send in Sephiroth. I'm going to stay in with Razul. Because <laughs> it's the only thing that has a damaging move, which will not kill it. So let's pay attention here. He's got Harden and he's got Water Gun so far, I think. Have we missed any other moves? Because Harden is going to be very useless. Water Gun... Potentially a little bit less useless, but still probably going to be fairly useless. I don't think you have any other moves. Especially when you're paralyzed. Come on, I just need you- Oh, tackle! I mean, that's not gonna do too much. I- I can't see a lot of situations where tackle is going to be more useful... ...than water gun, because... If, I mean, if it's a grass type, Relic Hunt won't even be on the field. It'll be safely in the party and Simba will be taking care of the grass types. Which also, uh, no. I was gonna say, which also, that's another thing, uh, we're going to face a grass type gym soon. And Relic Camp, that's not gonna do much. But it's not gonna be grass type anymore because it's randomized. Oh god. That didn't even move once. Oh no. Oh, we can get a free gift Pokemon as well in, uh... I want to say Ecrotique City, but that's in Johto. Uh, what is the city we're headed towards? We can get Evolution Stones there, but we can also get the free Gift Eevee, which will be randomized. So, there's a real good chance, actually, that we won't end up using Relic Hunt, depending on what that is. I don't know. I kind of want to use Relic Hunt, because... I don't use Relic Hunt before in a randomizer, though. I think it was my Pokemon Black 2 randomizer on Nuzlocke. Where we called a Relic Hunt, and we named it Oak. And since Oak is also a fictional character, I'm going to name this one Oak as well. Because I don't want to waste too much time naming this fucking thing. Okay, that was uh, more stressful than it should have been. I don't want to face any trainer battles right now. I just want to get on and see what our team is going to be like. That's the most important part of this episode. Just see what our team is going to be like. And when we figure that out, we can face all the trainers on our way back to Lava uh, Lavender Town. Uh, but I don't want to face those trainers right now. They're probably very scary and there's a lot of them as well. So Route 7, that's yet another Pokemon. Okay, so it's going to be a real good episode for catching which is good because we need that after losing almost all our team last episode that was horrible we lost four pokemon in rock tunnel it was a long episode as well okay so let's first saladin set that's what it is aren't all the names of towns and cities in this region based on colors what the what in the world is Saladin? It sounds like... a blue.
Agron. Okay, let's go. It's Agron. Um, I mean, I want to call him Grumpy, but I'm not going to. Uh, Agron, big, bulky dinosaur. It's not a lot of fictional dinosaurs, is there? We're just gonna to look this up. Fictional dinosaurs. Look at me being stupid and there's probably one very obvious one. Uh, fictional dinosaurs. List of 10 famous fictional dinosaurs. Let's go. Dino from the Flintstones. Yeah, that's fair enough. Gronk. No idea where that's from. Dinosaur. Very creative name. Barney. Yeah, it's. I'm always uncomfortable looking at Barney. Um, Bob the dinosaur. No, 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 no. Bob is a totodile. Dopey. Rex. Of course it's Rex from Toy Story. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I know Rex doesn't have horns. But I don't care. You're gonna be Rex. Okay, so, um... The question is, do we want a steel rock type or a water rock type? The answer is, we're going to go with the steel rock type because it's fully evolved and it's... also level 5. I think. It might be level 20? Something in me tells me it's level 20. But I'm afraid that it's level... Five. I'm fairly sure it's level five. It's level twenty-five. Well, that's definitely going to be a Rex then. Oak, you can just chill out in the PC until something dies. What is your move set? Rex, welcome to the team. Metal Claw. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's switch you up front and use you in the first battle we're going to do. Takedown might be a little bit scary to use, but Metal Claw is going to come in handy, man. Route 7's encounter is going to be... Actually... I'm gonna see if I can buy Great Balls in here yet. Because we're at the point in the game where we might be able to... Buy Great Balls? Maybe even Ultra Balls, to be honest. Uh, you're just a lottery... Right? You're not even a lottery girl. Isn't there a lottery in this game? I'm pretty sure there's a lottery in every game. I might just be imagining things. Oh, TMs. Um, nah. Potentially useful, Brick Break. Nah. Attract. No. Okay. I'm gonna think about getting Brick Break, but I probably won't. Yeah, I can buy Great Balls. As a matter of fact, I can only buy Great Balls here. Which is totally fine by me. Let's get... Uh, well, let's get 10 of them. Uh, we don't need any evolutionary stones anymore, I don't think. Because everybody that needed them died. Okay, let's go. Let's go catch... A new member of the team, potentially. Though, I must admit, the only thing I would probably switch out of the team at this point is either Tien... Or Stitch, because the rest of the team is looking pretty good. I want to give Sephiroth a chance. Simba's not going anywhere. Razul just needs better moves. Actually, talking about which, we just got uh, the chance to give him Brick Break. Because I'm 99% sure that Razul will be able to learn Brick Break. So... That's only 3,000 as well. Well, that's quite a lot of money, actually. <laughs> Let's, let's teach him Brick Break. Her. Him. I don't know. It's probably a her, statistically speaking, with my luck. Razul's gonna have a useful move. So now Razul's actually useful as well. Somewhat, at least. Um, so our team is getting pretty useful again. I was very scared when I started this episode that, yes, everybody is level 25, but during the grinding, I figured that my team is not that strong, and Sephiroth probably is still going to be problematic. If Sephiroth can live a hit or two, Rollout is going to destroy anything that comes in its path, but it's really just not that strong. 
altogether, defensively and offensively. Just can't take hits and can't really deal with. Oh, but a Psyduck! Golduck could be interesting. Does, does that evolve with a Water Stone? I think it evolves through a level up, right? We may never know, because Rex is more powerful than I give him credit for. He does have a lot less HP than I expected to, uh, based on the Agron we had in Pokemon Hard Gold. You do have a lot of defense there, holy crap. 30 dozen uh, is not a good move uh, or ability yet in this generation. Um, gentle nature, I don't know what that does. But I'm going to assume that that lowers an attack stats and increases... Maybe it's just a neutral nature. Gentle sounds like it would maybe lower attack. But what would it increase? I have no idea. Some kind of defense? Maybe physical defense? I don't know. I can't ever memorize all the natures. So now the question becomes... Do we go the rocket hideout first, or the gym first? And the answer... ...is... ...a real freaking good question. Well, actually, no. We're gonna go with the gym, because the rocket hideout is gonna take a while to complete, and I want to dedicate an entire episode to that. Because I always get lost in it. It's not as bad as Sylphs go, because... Prepare for that episode. Silvsko is going to be horrible for me. Um, what is the least amount of trainers I have to face? I think... You always have to face two trainers no matter what, because... Well, actually, I think there, there's one path where you only have to face one trainer. A fan thing. Do I have something for you? Oh, I like I like the fact that we got an Agron. I really do. You're not a rock type, I forgot. You're a ground type. Damn it. <laughs> I always assume because of Generation 1, every ground type is also a rock type. I always assume that ground has the same weaknesses as rock, but it obviously doesn't. That is a couple. I mean, water is, for, uh, is strong against both and grass. I still didn't exist in Generation 1 yet, so... Bayleaf, um, I did see that for a change. I mean, I mean, it's weird that I'm actually paying a little bit of attention to the game. So let's stop paying attention to the game and let's start talking bullshit, because have I got a bullshit topic for you? Because I I was thinking, I was watching... Um, what is the guy called from um, the pitch meeting series? Uh, that guy. He also has another YouTube channel where he does sh uh, short little skits and... He has a format there which is like the first person who... Blank. The first person who ever wrote fiction or the first person who ever got a cat and... Like two minute little skits and they're pretty funny. All things considered. I like watching him. I... And now I just came up with one and was like... Maybe it wouldn't work for a comedy perspective, but it's really interesting to think about. Kangaskhan might be dangerous. Somebody... well, it was, this is not the first person to have this, but I was thinking... There's got to... Ha this has to there has to have been... I don't know. Grammar. Words. At some point in history, people were dreaming but might not have been talking about those dreams to each other. So there must have been people, probably the majority of people at that point in time, who didn't know that other people were also dreaming and just thought that probably they were getting messages from like some kind of god entity or something like that. There might be precedent for this historically, which I don't know about. If anybody knows about anything like it, I'd be very interested to hear and read about it, because... I can imagine if you go to sleep and a lot of really weird 
stories which don't make any sense happen in your head and you wake up and you remember parts of it but it's very vague it's not something you would share right i mean at what point did dreaming become such a social thing you also have an ante <laughs> and you're level, ooh, the, oh, you're level 29 that's not good that's not good that's not good that's very bad because that's your weakest pokemon probably oh no um sephiroth you're up how are you level 29 leah yeah please keep leering keep don't use any physical moves though <laughs> I could yawn. I could put him to sleep. That's gonna give me... I just need to live one turn. Brilliant. Keep leering. If you have a level up move set, you don't even have a physical move. Which is wonderful, actually. <laughs> so now, you're gonna go to sleep. Yeah, that's not gonna matter too much. Oh, that still does a lot of damage. You see, Rollout is going to save me, because that doesn't do a lot of damage, but this is going to double every turn. I believe that's how rollout works, right? Doubling every turn. I mean, I'll, we'll see. We can deal with this anti, but I'm very afraid about what's coming next. Yeah, it's definitely double the damage. But now the question is, is it going to be three times the damage from the original or double the second time? I hope double the second time. That seems like three times original. Hyper Potion. You can't outheal a rollout. And I can't wake up when you use items, so please use another Hyper Potion, by all means. Okay, Sephiroth is going to kill this Ante somehow. And that's one threat done. But I'm very, sc I'm very scared. Kadabra. Um, what can I do against the Kadabra? I don't have Bite on Razul anymore. Oh no. Um, honestly, maybe staying in with Sephiroth and getting the rollout damage build up is the best thing I can do. Because Tien is a bad idea. Razul. Maybe Lick. And they with Bite. But it's a special move, and special attack is not particularly great. Well, actually, compared to the other stats on my Pokemon, it's somewhat decent, because of course it is still a legendary. And then I can just brute force it with Metal Claw, and you're not gonna send out against a Kadabra. Hiccups. Boops. Both. Um, against a Kadabra either. So I'm going to stay in, because I think another rollout will just Maybe I can sweep with Sephiroth. That would be wonderful. No. The rollout ran out. Okay, so that wasted the turn. Um, Simba is my best option here. It's also level 29. The Kadabra though. <laughs> Do I have any potions? I feel like I will require potions. Very badly. Okay, that does a lot more damage than I expected. And... Oh yes, it can flinch. It can flinch. Am I just going to pull this off? Against all odds. But no. You don't have any... You have hidden power, but... Unless it's like hidden power water. Wait a second. You have two 20, level 29 Pokemon and one level 24 Pokemon? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm not complaining because this unknown will just die. <laughs> Unless again, flinch! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that was scary, but. Wow! <laughs> that anti was scary. The Kadabra was momentarily scary, the unknown was laughable. And we now have Giga Drain, which we don't have a grass type anymore. So, we can't really do much with Giga Drain. Um, yeah. I think uh, you're supposed to do the gym after the rocket hideout. I get the feeling. Somehow everybody survived that, though, which is very surprising. 
I think I'm gonna cut the episode there because I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna look up Giovanni's because you do fight Giovanni here, right? You fight him here and then again in Silvsko. Are you do you? I don't know. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I'm gonna look up the levels I can expect to face, and if they're too high, I'll grind up a little bit. But I don't think they'll be too high for me to deal with, so... Probably I'll just have the same levels next episode, and we'll just be golden, especially with our new Agron Rex. You didn't get to do much this episode, other than kill a potential team member. Because I underestimated your power. Until next time, though, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video. There's also a Discord link in the description down below which you can click on and keep up to date with both my uploads and my Twitch live streams. If you're into that, we're doing a Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer run on Twitch uh, at the moment. At least I'm going to start doing that. I think by the time this goes up, we'll be doing that. I'm not sure. Until the next time, I'll see you all next time. Obviously, that's kind of implied there. Bye.